Welcome to the video on the XYZ tile web maps to the feature that presents the users the ability to add new map backgrounds to the map visualization in Oracle Analytics. To the XYZ tile maps, so we go to console maps and under the backgrounds tab click on add background and this time we choose the tile web map and it opens up a dialog. So basically all it asks for is just the URL of the tile web map server that we'll be connecting to render the map background. The URL of the tile web map server follows a particular pattern. Uh, it always ends with slash z slash x slash y. And the reason behind that is slash z denotes the zoom level and x and y in combination denotes a particular tile that is being fetched from the map server. Now if you look at this particular map for instance, so at this particular zoom level, the entire map that should be seen in the viewport will be sliced and diced into small small tiles and these tiles will be requested from the map server for it to be rendered as a map background. So that particular zoom level will be sent as a parameter to the map server and also X and Y numbers in combination identifies what particular tile that we are requesting for. So as soon as we send the request and we render those particular tiles in an asynchronous way. Now for this example, I'm going to use the S3 streets uh, map, which is actually hosted as an XYZ tile web map. And it's actually hosted in the ArcGIS server. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this particular URL into OAC. So I'm just going to copy and paste this one. And I'm going to give it a name called S3 streets. And I'm going to click on this particular checkbox to make sure that I add the URL of the ArcGIS server to the list of safe domains. And one other thing to note here is in some of the maps might actually require an API key for you to use it. So in that particular scenario to add an API key, you can go to the parameters and add the API key as a name and the value of the API key in the value tab. And then I'm going to click on save. And you get the same message saying that you need to refresh the page for the safe domains to kick in. So I'm just going to do a page refresh. So the S3 streets um, is getting shown as one of the options in the map background. So I can go to inspect and once I click on the preview, I should see the preview of the S3 streets world map showing here. So I can zoom into a particular area and you can see that the performance is much better and faster than the web map service. Thanks for watching the video.